Today, crews in Virginia began the flooding of dry dock number 12. That's where the new aircraft carrier Gerald R. Ford has been under construction for four years. The president's daughter, Susan Ford Bales, did the honors. The nuclear-powered USS Gerald R. Ford will be the first aircraft carrier of its class, and it will be the nation's 11th in service once it's delivered to the Navy in 2015. Bales actually got to push the button on the flooding. She said she is proud to be part of the project. She's the ship's sponsor. It carries on her dad's name and confidence in the workers. Well, I have great confidence in the shipbuilders of what a good job they've done, so I'm assuming there's no holes and there's no leaks. So um, that I have great trust in. And it's kind of like my husband and I were saying the other night, it's, it's like reading a good book. And you don't want the end to come because then what are you gonna do next? I don't know what I'm gonna do once this thing is done because it's been a real pride and joy to, to be involved in watching and participating in. It's not quite done yet. It will replace the USS Enterprise, which is on its last scheduled deployment. I'll be on hand for the ship's christening later this year.